After months of hype, Elon Musk is getting ready to debut a prototype of his underground traffic tunnel in Hawthorne tonight. But right now, CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live outside SpaceX headquarters where the tunnel preview will start. Good morning, Cara. Good morning, Crystal. Musk says he wants to end soul-destroying traffic. Who doesn't here in L.A.? This is what he's hoping is the start of that. You're taking a look at some of the equipment used to create the test tunnel that's being unveiled tonight. The Boring Company's ultimate goal, to build a transportation system that winds all around beneath L.A. And if we pan over further, you can also see a medieval tower near the test tunnel's entrance. This week, Musk tweeted out a picture of that tower. The caption? medieval futurism. It was reportedly built with bricks made from dirt that was excavated during the tunneling. Let's give you a closer look now at the project itself. The test tunnel starts here at SpaceX in Hawthorne. It continues for about two miles underneath 120th Street. A YouTube video posted by The Boring Company includes animations of the system that they ultimately hope to build with electric mobile platforms that can carry either cars or pods for passengers, and this can go up to 150 miles per hour. Other videos show cars driving onto platforms which are lowered underground on an elevator, then propelled through those tunnels. The big goal, a system of these tunnels, and in August, the company announced plans for a 3.6-mile dugout loop that would run between Dodger Stadium and Vermont. Now, tonight's unveiling was initially supposed to take place last week. Elon Musk has taken heat from missing numerous deadlines. He talked about that last week during an interview about his electric cars. Just because I'm like dumb at, at predicting dates does not mean I'm uh, untruthful. I don't know. I, we've, I've never made a mass produced car. How am I supposed to know with precision when it's going to get done? Here's a look at another one of Musk's tweets building up that anticipation for today. You can see the inside of the tunnel there. Now, back here live, I know Peter's upset about this, but no public rides on the tunnel yet, or through the tunnel yet, I should say. However, Peter. Everyone else out there can watch the webcast of this event live tonight. The company's going to carry that. So a little consolation for you there. Ooh, and I'm looking forward to seeing the highlights tomorrow here on CBS 2 News this morning, Cara. Thanks so much. For at least five years before I started Boring Company, I was trying to encourage anyone to do tunnels. Please, someone do tunnels. Um, it's the obvious move. Um, and no one did tunnels. After five years of just trying to convince other people to do tunnels, like, Okay, I guess I'll do tunnels. I didn't want to. I wanted to ask somebody else to do it. You didn't want to? Why did you want somebody else to do it? Because I have a lot on my plate. Yeah, I know. I want to talk about your plate because your plate is very full. But what is it that you saw about tunnels that you thought, okay, this is a really good idea? Because I see tunnels, I see dark, I see creepy, I see narrow, I see cramped. You look at a tunnel and you see what? You have to have a 3D transportation network to match 3D buildings. Um, and so the thing about tunnels, you can have many layers of tunnels. Um, you can go deeper down and you can, you can go up in skyscrapers. The, the deepest mines are, de are, are way deeper than the tallest buildings. I know, but th this is what I worry about a tunnel. Every time I'm in the tunnel, I worry about if it collapsed, if there was an accident, you have nowhere to go. How do you, how do you make it safe? That's what I worry about. How do you make it safe? Uh, tunnels are, just, modern tunnels are, are, are exceptionally safe. Um, I mean, our tunnels are designed to the highest California seismic standards. Um, they're, they're gas proof, waterproof. In an earthquake, for example, people often think, what about an earthquake when it cave in? It's like, no, tunnels are the safest place to be in an earthquake. Explain that. Um, I think earthquakes are primarily a surface phenomenon. They're like waves on the surface. And you can imagine, like, if you're in the ocean, um, you'd much rather be in a submarine deep underwater than be on the surface in, if there's a hurricane. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it's super quiet un underground. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, when Mexico City had that terrible earthquake where a massive number of people died, um, the, the, the subway tunnels were the, used as a means of evacuation. Zero people died in the subway tunnels. If you were in the subway tunnel, you were totally safe. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. So how do you know this, Elon Musk? How do you know this? I mean, it's just one Wikipedia search away. <laughs> it's very easy to find out. <laughs> this is not a deep secret.